Mrs. Benz liked to say we invented the car. Yes, that's uh, true, but we have to reinvent the car every day. Our job is to be always in the future. We create the future. I think the main task here is basically to, to just live in this kind of you know, city, this moment of incredible, I mean, it's booming. You just have to be in the center, basically, and, and see what's happening to capture all this creativity. We have to, to really study the, the habits of the Chinese people. And then filtering it, basically. And, and step by step, we generate this kind of project where you integrate the, the German values of our company, of Mercedes-Benz, and the Chinese values together. The advantage, of course, of a foreigner is that we are a little bit candid. We have our own new eyes, and we sometimes identify things quicker than the, the local people themselves. Beijing offers this kind of contradiction, old hutongs, and then at the same time you have these huge mega skyscrapers. We got very much inspired by these uh, hutongs and this kind of grayish color. We turned that into a high-end color, basically. A very nice contrast of futuristic elements, dashboards and all these kind of things, and more traditional elements, including the wood we found a very specific Chinese wood, which is gray. We try to go a little bit deeper in this Chinese culture. Most of the Chinese cities, not only Beijing, are growing like crazy. They are a little bit, how can I say, overwhelmed by this, the speed of this growth. Challenges to kind of make people move from point A to point B in a more efficient manner, instead of just using heaps of cars. And I think, yeah, the main challenge is the size. The one solution is to kind of not just design within our own little world and separate private transport from public transport. It's, it takes both sides, basically, to come up with a solution. I would like the automotive designers get back a little bit to a broader picture now of their work and not just styling of a car. We have a social responsibility. It's good to create and to design a nice, beautiful car. But if you want to make a successful business, don't forget you have to have an infrastructure that can absorb these machines. So in the next 10, 20 years, probably, <laughs> unfortunately, right, uh, for traffic, but uh, it's going to be more cars. But maybe at the same time, you have also more kind of unique mobility, maybe more smaller solutions, maybe one or two seaters. I think personally quite convinced that you will have a mix in the future of engine cars, hybrid and electric cars. The car will become a robot. I believe in that. We have enough technology to make this feasible already today. Sometimes we are too advanced, we have to be a bit patient. We need to have the public having the time, you know, to adjust. But this is our job, basically. That's why it's an exciting job. <laughs>